Contemporary and Ancient Word will be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13 and 16, chapter 5, verse 1. We have the same faithful spirit as what is written in Scripture. I have faith, and so I spoke. We also have faith, and so we also speak. We do this because we know that the one that raises Lord Jesus will also raise us with Jesus and will bring us into divine presence along with him. All things are for your benefit as grace increase to benefit more and more people it will cause gratitude to increase, which results in God's glory. So we don't lose heart, even if our bodies are broken down on the outside, the person that we are on the inside is being renewed every day. Our temporary minor problems are producing a eternal stockpile of glory for us that is beyond all comparison. We don't focus on the things that can be seen, but on things that can't be seen. The thing that can be seen doesn't last, but the things that can be seen are eternal. We know that if the temp that we live in on earth is torn down, we have a building from God. It's a house that isn't handmade, which is eternal and located in heaven. Common English Bible. Our second reading is coming from Mark chapter 3, verse 20 through 25. Jesus entered a house a crowd gathered again so that it was impossible for him and his followers to even eat. When his family heard what was happening, they came and took control of him. They were saying, he's out of his mind. The legal experts came down from Jerusalem. Over and over they charge, he's possessed by Beelzebul. He threw out the demons with the authority of the ruler of demons. When Jesus called them together, he spoke to them in parables. How can Satan throw Satan out? A rim involving civil war was collapsing. The house torn apart by division will collapse. If Satan rebels against himself and is divided, and he can't endure, he's done for. No one gets into the house of a strong person and steals anything without first tying up the strong person. Only then did the house be burglarized. I assure you that human beings will be forgiven for everything, for all sins and insult of every kind. But whoever insults the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. The person is guilty of sin with the consequences that last forever. Jesus said this because the legal experts were saying he's possessed by an evil spirit. His mother and siblings arrived. They stood outside and sent word to him, calling for him. The crowd was seated around him and those sent to him said, look, your mother and siblings are outside looking for you. Jesus replied, who is my mother? Who is my sister? Looking around at the seated around him in a circle, he said, look here, my mother, my siblings, whatever Whoever does God's will is my sibling and mother. Common English Bible.